Hey guys, Jared with Dragon Timber Reptiles again. This is clutch number nine. Update on these guys. They are um, out of the egg and had their first shed and everything. Um, so this was Champagne Possible Head Hypo to Black Pastel. Pretty simple pairing. Uh, we were trying to get Black Pastel Champagnes, trying to get a male to hold back for a future project. And um, we had um, four eggs make it all the way through incubation and one snake uh, which was a champagne uh, female it made it through incubation and made it through um, the egg but um, it passed away before um, shedding so that was unfortunate um, so we're left with three snakes we ended up with uh, all female clutch including the one that didn't make it but um, we have uh, normal female, the first normal female, and she's nice little blotchy pattern. A typical normal female, a typical normal, I should say. And um, these guys are doing good. This is the second one. A little bit more of a granity pattern. Uh, a little bit more darker. Uh, more blacks, a little bit more of alien heads going on in this one than the other one, as you can see. Um, but it's still a normal, it's not a black pastel. We didn't hit any black pastels in the clutch. Um, there we go. So that's normal female number two. And then, this is the champagne that we got. This is just a champagne. I've talked to some people who have produced black pasta champagnes, um, seen a lot of pictures, a lot of examples, and I know champagne varies, and it's just one of those genes that it does um, different things to combos, and it kind of takes it away, but this, the dorsal pattern is pretty much prevalent in there throughout the entire snake, um, especially at the last uh, quarter of the snake's dorsal stripe, um, and even though it may appear dark on the sides, it's just not... The color tone are washed out enough or broken up of the, uh, the pattern enough to be um, the indicator for black pastel. So I believe that this is just a champagne. It's my first year producing champagnes and I'm very excited to hit this girl. But um, this one along with the other one that we did hit are just champagne. So we ended up with four eggs, two normal females and two champagne females. We did not hit the black pastel champagne that we were hoping for. So we're going to go ahead and um, try that pairing again next year and or this coming season and try to get uh, the Black Pastel Champagne then. Um, hopefully we get some more eggs uh, this time. Um, but um, I forget if we had five or six eggs, but um, one or two didn't make it all the way through incubation. So we ended up with um, just the four and now we ended up with just the three, but these three appear to be doing good. So I'm um, very, very excited to finally produce a champagne. I love this gene. Um, I've wanted to work with it and have it ever since um, I started in the hobby um, a couple years ago. And um, it's very cool to finally produce them. And it's nice because the champagne male that I have, he's possible hit hypo. And so his pattern is just really more reduced and broken up. So I like the champagnes that have the dorsal pattern. So it's nice to get a specimen that is more of a traditional champagne look. It's got that same head, but just got more of a pattern on the dorsal than the than the dad does. And the dad, it, it is kind of broken up, dirty chain link kind of pattern there. But it's nice to get that full stripe there with, that he doesn't have. So anyway, I like the traditional look of, of the champagnes. Um, excited to do some more um, work with him in the future. Hoping to put that mail to um, some more stuff soon. And actually, I wasn't able to... Um, to get a, a video of it, but Clutch, um, I want to say it's 14 or 15, um, I think it's 15, um, was actually the Champagne Possible Head Hypo to the Hypo female that I have. So we got um, a few eggs from her, I think five or six. So hopefully we can um, prove that male out actually that he is Hypo. And if so, um, hopefully get a mimosa. That's one of my favorite combos out of there. And um, if that's the case, that would make these guys all possible head hypo as well so we'll find out here soon I'll probably still have these guys when I find out about that other one um, I think we're about 
we're less than a month away on that other clutch, clutch number 15, but um, that's what we got for these. So um, I am not decided yet on what, if I'm going to let go the, the female champagne. Honestly, it will be on if we hit anything um, champagne hypo in the other clutch I mentioned. So if you're interested um, in the champagne female or anything you see here, just feel free to let me know. Um, and we'll go from there. Uh, more videos coming, you guys. Thanks for following. And again, um, every clutch uh, cutting and update that we do from this point on in the season is going to be as we go per clutch. So um, hope you guys are liking the updates, but I will do more of an in-depth look at them um, as we go like I have been doing. So thanks for following. And um, I appreciate you guys staying through, through uh, to the channel and everything. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers. So um, thanks for everything that you guys do by supporting the channel and commenting and liking. I really enjoy the channel. And uh, maybe we'll do something fun when we get 2,000 subscribers. So thanks, guys. Safe, uh, looking forward to the next video. And uh, talk to you guys soon.